pumpkin planting time. Bring you along a little bit. We're back on the water wheel transplanter. We're gonna use it to plant the seeds, poke the hole, it'll put a little bit of water in. See how much video and I'm get done. Got my dad on the tractor. This will be our first row we'll do. Just a yes or a no. The other day, we got the water wheel planter out, found some time to get our start planting our pumpkins. You can see they starting to come up. We also got a lot of grass coming up. So we're gonna come out here with the tiller. We're gonna go between our rows, knock some of this grass down. Get a head start on uh, keeping it knocked down as it goes. Still waiting on some rain, be good. We got a good chance today over the next few days. If we don't get any rain, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and uh, put my water tank on and give them a shot to drink. You can see my rows here and in between I gotta I wanna knock this down, knock that grass down. We'll go out to the other pasture and uh, work on it also. All right, let's go get on the tractor and get started with it. Okay, so we finished working the ground over here where the pumpkins are. Like I said before, these pumpkins here are the uh, more of the jack-o'-lantern type, the carvers. So uh, what I did this year, my rows start way over there on that end. And they go all the way across to here. And I put them further apart. That way I'm able to get in there and spray easier when it comes time to uh, maybe if the bugs get bad on them, we're able to get in there and spray. Tried something a little different. Took a little up a little bit more area, but I just want to see how this, uh, how it's going to work. So far, it looks like the seeds are coming up pretty good. Sure would like to get a little bit of rain on them. I hadn't fertilized yet and wait and see what the rain does. I might come back with some liquid fertilize or uh, put some granular out. I just don't know yet, we'll wait and see. So while I was out here, I'll show you what's left of the watermelons. Yeah, this is some green beans I got planted. I don't think they're gonna do anything. It's getting hot, I got a few few blooms on them but just thought I'd give it a try. So anyway, 
We're at the end of the run on the watermelons. We planted uh, right at 300 plants and probably ended up with around a couple of hundred watermelons. Been better if we could have got a little more rain on them. It just didn't happen. But uh, the melons we did harvest have been, been really good and uh, pretty much sold out of everything we've picked. I have a lady that wants to come through here and pick all the small ones and the, the ones we leave behind. She wants them for her chickens and uh, hogs and some of her livestock. Yeah, so I had the tractor here. I'm gonna fill up this front end loader with, with what I can find. All right, so this is the end of the video. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for coming along with us here at Cooper Hill Farms. We appreciate everybody that subscribes to the channel. If you're watching and not subscribed, please give us a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We sure appreciate it. So. All right, until next time.